Okay folks, this will be an interesting one. Nice piece to work with. Hopefully it's got, it's challenging, but got potential. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. And like a lot of things, it's hard for me to know how I'm gonna work with something until I get stuck into it. Sometimes I try to do a, a, a dry run in my head, pretty much, but it's just something you can't do uh, often. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here a shirt, a sequined and laced shirt. So we're just gonna go down and show you the middle of the garment, the um, beautiful sequins and lace that's in it. I think we're gonna use this side to, as our to piece to work with. So, just going to take this and sorry about the bad camera work. I actually think the other side, ah, oh, whatever, I don't know. It's bloody hard trying to do this, to be honest, folks. To be really brutally honest, it's really difficult trying to work out how to do it, as I was saying. Um, I think it's going to be just line, line it up on the A5 maybe near the A5 I might have to enlarge it bigger actually I'm going to keep it like that for now and see what happens that's often the operative word of what I do is see what happens see what eventuates what transpires if we get a bit poetic Let's see how we go. Yeah, that looks really quite nice, the colours. I do think we need a bit of extra length and maybe this could, and maybe I could push it up or maybe push it across. It's really difficult working with these materials, folks. It can be. Um, trying to make something out of something that you normally wouldn't so i think the vertical will have to go up a bit because that a5 area is um uncovered there so we're going to now enlarge this further Okay, out it comes, and that's looking quite nice actually. Um, I do wonder if we enlarge that too big, it's going to look shit because we still have that area there that you might. Th yeah, that's that should work. So that looks really quite nice. The sequins. Yeah, you can see them, they're not the greatest, but um, wondering if we're going to run with it. Just going to see if I'm going to run with this job. I feel my intuition's telling me to stop, to pull it up, and maybe do some adjustment.
we just reduce the enlargement a little bit. Yeah, that looks a bit... It's got a little bit of that um, unwanted piece of uh, lace. I didn't want that there in the image. Um, but it looks... Oh, shit. But this version had it as well. So a little bit less. Um, but basically this is showing uh, more of it. Um, I don't know, maybe that looks better. So we're just going to maybe enlarge on the vertical. We're just going to stretch it a little bit on the vertical. It's 160 on the vertical. Yeah, that looks really quite nice. It's still got a little bit of that lace. Actually, it's, it probably isn't such a bad thing. Uh, in this case, it looks a bit obstructive. Um, but then it, it seems to go reasonably well with that. I don't know, folks. It's a tough one. It is a difficult one, folks. It really can be. Photocopier art is often considered something that's always been considered easy. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's easy. It can be. On many occasions it can be. But sometimes it can be really, really difficult. And it requires skill and patience, just like any other form of art. Even in other art forms, there's easy. Sometimes a painting can be easy. It doesn't always have to be so fucking hard. So, you know, even in painting and drawing, you might sometimes get an easy piece. I'm not really well uh, versed in painting and drawing. I haven't done it for years. Occasionally I've done uh, line drawings uh, with stripy lines that are supposed to be used with the photocopier, but I haven't done any... any um, Oh, I've done some paintings uh, on some occasions, but basically I don't take it seriously and I don't have the talent to do it. Um, but some types of painting, like butterfly paintings, where you take blobs of paint and you press them between, you fold the sheet of paper in half and you, you end up pressing the ink or the, or the paint, then out comes a nice image like a butterfly. And I've done those, but I, they're easy, um, pretty much. But I just, yeah, it's not always like not always difficult to do a painting and a drawing, even though I'm not haven't had much experience with really advanced forms of painting and drawing. I've kept it fairly simple, like butterfly. Anyway, that's come up looking quite nice. I think now we can call it quits.